Greetings. We welcome you to this living tribute to Reverend Leslie Evans Hernandez. Les, when, as I told you in the foreword, afterward that I wrote for your book, uh, when I first encountered you on the World Wide Web, my reaction was, who is this kid punk rocker who is so great at explaining Satanism and fighting down our detractors? And since that time, I've learned exactly who you are, which is a true priest of Satan, someone whose life has completely exemplified and personified all our principles with the creative force with which you have done your music and your writing, with the passions that you pursue, and with the honor and the courage that you have as you walk through this cosmic chaos that is human life. I admire you, I respect you, I love you. You will live on here in my heart and I will never let you go. As you've been a great example of our priesthood, we've also come to know you as someone who has been a teacher for many others. Living as a Satanist means that one also knows how to let go of life as a Satanist. And your candor, frankness, and bravery have been an extraordinary example for so many people who have been led into your experience because of this teaching aspect. We consider you worthy of our fourth degree, and we welcome you into the realm of the masters of the Church of Satan as of the super blood wolf moon of January of this year. Hail to thee, Magister Les Hernandez. Hail, Magister Hernandez. Hail, Satan. Hail, Satan. Shemhem Farash. Shemhem Farash. Hail, Les. Hail, Les. That's it for that part. Satanas, Luciferi Excelsi. In the name of Satan, ruler of the earth, king of the world, we command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal powers upon us. Open wide the gates of hell and come forth from the abyss to greet us as your brothers and sisters and friends. Grant us the indulgences of which we speak. We have taken thy name as a part of ourselves. We live as the beasts of the field, rejoicing in the fleshly life. We favor the just and we curse the rotten. By all the gods of the pit, we command that these things we speak of shall come to pass. Come forth and answer to your names by manifesting our desires. Oh, hear the names. 
Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Baphomet. Baphomet. Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. Apollyon. Apollyon. Emma O. Emma O. Hecate. Hecate. Abaddon. Abaddon. Apollyon. Apollyon. Pluto. Pluto. Nergal. Nergal. The Hawaiian goddess of fire, Tutu Pele. Tutu Pele. Shimham Farash. Shimham Farash. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Arise. O oh, gods of the abyss, and bear witness to these testimonials that celebrate the life of one who was thy kith and kin. Lord Satan, Imperator of fire, hell and earth are filled with your glories. Hosanna in profundis. Behold the tiki chalice of ecstasy filled with the elixir of life. I drink and celebrate the black flame within. The black flame burns within me. Satan Thy strength is mine. Satan, thy strength is mine. Satan, thy strength is mine. Satan, thy strength is mine. The black flame burns within me. Satan's flame is mine. Satan's flame is mine. We call forth from the four winds, the four crown princes of hell. From the south, Satan, Lord of fire. From the east, Lucifer, the bringer of light, the Lord of air. From the north, Belial, master of the earth, he who has no master. From the west, Leviathan, lord of water, surrounder of Hawaii, monstrous dragon of the watery abyss. O oh, you crown princes, attend us now. Be witness to these rites. Infuse us with your power of remembrance and joy and continuance. Shemham Farash. Shemham Farash. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. O oh, Satan, from thee arises all potency, justice, and dominion. Let our visions become reality, and our creations endure, for we are your loyal minions. Satan, instill in us the blood fire trait of strength, 
Lucifer, instill in us the blood fire trait of will. Belial, instill in us the blood fire trait of passion. Leviathan, instill in us the blood fire trait of power. Shimham Farash. Shimham Farash. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. O Satan, and all you dread demons of the pit, behold, at this moment, all across the earth, your loyal minions pause and perform your unholy rites on behalf of our honored brother, Magister Les Hernandez. We gather with mixed emotions. We come with both heavy hearts and with a joyful celebration. With the anger of anguish and the wrath of the stifled, we pour out our voices wrapped in rolling thunder that you may hear. O oh, great lurkers in the darkness, move and appear. Present yourselves in your benign power on behalf of your loyal and accomplished magister who is stricken with torment. Isolate him in the bulwark of your protection, for he is undeserving of torment and desires it not. Let that which bears against him be beaten and rendered powerless. Succor your magister through fire and water, earth and air. This we call for in the name of Satan, whose mercies flourish and whose sustenance will prevail. As Satan reigns, so shall the flesh of Les Hernandez. Shemham Farash. Shemham Farash. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. By his powerful and inspiring example, Les has shown his, follow, his fellow Satanists what it is to take life by the throat and live it willfully on his own terms in accordance with his vision and his wishes, even in the face of the darkest clouds. We all see, we all learn, we all are inspired. We all feel our black flame stoked by his example. A reading from the book of Satan. Blessed are the strong. For they shall possess the earth. Cursed are the weak, for they shall inherit the yoke. Blessed are the powerful, for they shall be reverenced among men. Cursed are the feeble, for they shall be blotted out. Blessed are the bold, for they shall be masters of the world. Cursed are the righteously humble, for they shall be trodden under cloven hoofs. Blessed are the victorious, for victory is the basis 
of right. Cursed are the vanquished, for they shall be vassals forever. Blessed are the iron-handed, for the unfit shall flee before them. Cursed are the poor in spirit, for they shall be spat upon. Blessed are the death defiant, for their days shall be long in the land. Cursed are the gazers toward a richer life beyond the grave, for they shall perish amidst plenty. The angel of self-deceit is camped in the souls of the righteous. The eternal flame of power through joy dwelleth within the flesh of the Satanist. of the flesh shall be made manifest. Grant to thy disciples remembrance of Les Hernandez, a leader of the children of the night who reveled in thy truth, who was truly born to be among thy chosen. Hail, Les Hernandez. Hail, Les Hernandez. Tonight we both celebrate the life and mourn the pending loss of a friend and brother of the left-hand path, a fellow God. We celebrate Les Hernandez and all his extraordinary works. He embraced the title of Satanist because he chose to be his own God in the face of the vastness of indifferent nature. Les Hernandez took command of his life, moving from victory to victory in triumphant succession. He was a beneficent deity to his allies and associates. He was a ruthless adversary to those who stood against him or his true friends, who were far more important to him than any mythological deities. Indeed, he chose wisely according to the nature of his flesh. Our world is ever in need of outstanding individuals like Les Hernandez. Les Hernandez made his satanic mark indelibly on the earth in many ways. He's founder and guitarist, lead vocalist of the quintessentials, Honolulu's only nationally prominent punk rock band. He was the editor and publisher of Hawaii's only satanic publication, Bloodfire Magazine. He wrote songs that told the story, and some of the songs told his story. He was a leader among the devil's henchmen.
Hernandez did it. For years, people from here on, people will play his music and they will do it like that. Every one of us, a child of hell. Without you, Les, our worlds are going to be diminished indeed. Your departure saddens us to our core, it saddens our church. You have been a cornerstone of the art of our church, and you will continue to be. The titles of the quintessential albums tell a story of Les Fernandez, past, present, and creepy ass future that is to be. Through the quintessentials, Les Fernandez spread enlightenment about satanic principles to vast new audiences via punk rock with the first album that was titled Pentagonal Revisionism. Pentagonal Revisionism. Then the Grim Reaper appeared on the scene. The next album was titled Sarah Alice is Dead. Sarah Alice is Dead. Now it appears that the Reverend Hernandez, Magister Hernandez, may be dead soon. If so, we know he will depart this earth, pass through the shades into the realm of the great old ones. The realm of the great old ones. But he may not stay dead for long, for he is destined to be one of those Legends from the Grave. Legends from the Grave. Yes, yes, it is true. A legend from the grave. For in accordance with his wishes, per his decree, he shall rise up from the dead, clawing, staggering, rising up from the grave to inspire all of us to carry on with the satanic rites of the quintessentials. The, the satanic, satanic rites of, of the quintessentials. Before 12 moons have passed, Satanists will be authorized by necromantic ritual to disquiet the shade of Les Hernandez and raise him up from the dead as a demon from hell, up from the pit to once again haunt the earth torment his distractors, and inspire those of us who follow his path. These are the words of Les Hernandez, which he closed out his most recent press interview. Let them stay with us in our minds forever. My best advice for music Practice for life. Squeeze every last drop of joy you can from life while you still have it. Drink that shit up while you can. Make the most of your life in the here and now. And live as the god of your own subjective universe and without being a dick for the sake of being a dick then all of the things you're passionate about will begin to bear fruit and others will remember you after you die fondly <laughs>
unholy brothers and sisters. These many inspiring deeds and creations wrought by the Magister Les Hernandez shall long remain with us. Come forward now and accept this token of Magister Hernandez and the legacy that he leads for us as his gift to you. ALS Hernandez. covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried out loud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, loom is but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate or how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. We love you, Les. No one relishes the 11th key, but there are times, there are times when it's the right one. The 11th Enochian key. The mighty throne growled and there were five thunders that flew into the east and the eagle spoke and cried aloud, come away from the house of death. And they gathered themselves together and became those of whom it measured. And they were the deathless ones who ride the whirlwinds. Come away, for I have prepared a place for you. Move therefore and show yourselves. Unveil the mysteries of your creation. Be friendly unto us, for we are our own gods, true worshipers of Satan that liveth forever. O chia yala holado o zode rome o coraco das zode laudiari raiso. O baba zodire cameliaha o bahala niiso salamanu telokahi. O daldano o noasa casa remano hoelco. O tita zod kahisa soba, koremefa iga, niisa bagile, aba remaji nonukape, zodakare, eka zodamaranu, odo kikale kwa a, zodareje, lape zodaredo, no komada hoetahe setan. Thank 
And so it is done. Oh, here we are. One of the locations where we used to hang out, get drunk, you used to write songs about having sex in the cemetery and just general debauchery. This place is special to both of us. That's why I chose it. So I couldn't think of a better place to come and tell you thank you for having me in your life, in your band, and sharing your music with you. I'll cherish all the memories that we made throughout the years, and I'll miss you, man. Love you. Hey, this is MJ Mentes from the Netherlands. Um, as a punk rock kid, I knew uh, of your music even before I became a Church of Satan member. I like to say I respect uh, everything you did for Satanism. Oh, and uh, one last thing. Fuck cancer. Cheers. It's Michelle Lynn Blasky. And I wanted to take a few moments today and uh, sit down and um, have a chat here. Um, I wanted to say that um, even though I never actually met you, um, I followed some of your posts on Facebook, um, and I'm really, really glad that I, you know, have gotten to know you. I feel very lucky and fortunate. Um, I just really wanted to say that I think that you are an incredibly strong and talented person. Um, not just with this organization, which you've done tremendous with, but, you know, in your music, um, everything else you've done. Um, I just can't say how much that really is an inspiration to me. And also, you know, also to touch here as well, um, I just think it's also, that's a little bit hard for me to say, but, um, I think it's inspirational, um, that, that you've taken this by, you know, the horns and, you know, the bull by the horns and really have been fighting it and... I think that you are incredibly strong and courageous and I don't know if I would have that type of courage myself if I were in your shoes and um, I, I bow before you because that's, that is a very strong one. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was I'm very grateful that, you know, that that we're friends and that I wish that we could have met, um, you know, but, um, other than that, I, you know, to leave it on a little bit more of a higher note, um, I think that if, I mean, we all don't, you know, believe in a natural hell or heaven, but I will say that if there is one, you will definitely rule in it. <laughs> um, you know, you are, you are, you will take over. <laughs> Um, you're a very strong person, so I love you, and I just wanted to say what I had to say, and, um, not try to cry in front of it, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit hard for me, um, so, hail Reverend Hernandez, hail Satan, thank you. So, this is Alder Strauss. This is my message to you, Les, man. Uh, this is so surreal. Um, just uh, putting my thoughts together for you, man. Uh, it's been such such an interesting time getting to know you. You were um, one of the first members I met uh, when I moved down to Portland in 2008, 2009. You were playing at the at the Red Room, I believe. And uh, ever since then, uh, I've been a Quintessentials fan, man. Uh, what you've produced, what you've made has been just just amazing. Uh, and not just that, your friendship. Uh, we became great, fast friends right down there in Portland. We, you know, we share the same 
job position for a while at Ross and shared stories of idiots trying to steal and giving each other heads up on, you know, these families going around and trying to, you know, rip off our employer. Uh, and, you know, all the parties and time we hung out and is drinking and all the shows I went to and uh, the fact that we also jammed together uh, that one time uh, that that just that just meant so much. That was so much fun, and it's a shame uh, nothing more came of uh, of that thing. But um, also the goodbye party, man, when you came and wished me well when I went back up, uh, came back up here to Bellingham to to finish my schoolwork, and you know it's you know uh, that will always be something that I will treasure. Um, and I just want you to know, man. I know your your prognosis isn't the best. And uh, I just want you to know, man, you got this beat. Maybe not physically, but every time someone listens to your music, every time someone taps their feet to your just fucking awesome tunes, man, every time someone plays a record, every time somebody does covers, because there's going to be a shitload of awesome covers of your music, man. The quintessentials are legends. And you've made them that way. That's that's your thing. But every time someone plays a song, that's you beating cancer, man. That's you keeping yourself alive. And that is satanic. Uh, that is that satanic afterlife that we all know and cherish. That you know pays dividends uh, of our actions in the here and now. Reverend Bloodfire. You are amazing. Fuck answer. Hail Reverend Bloodfire. Hail Satan. Reverend Hernandez, this is Rick Powell here. I just want to say thank you for all you have done for me with your words and your music. And most of all, a few years ago, um, I reached out to you when me and my wife were getting married out your way in Hawaii. And, um, you were gracious enough to extend a welcome for us to meet and unfortunately enough with everything going on we never had a chance to meet in person but I'm going to remember that forever and thank you for being so cordial and kind as to invite us to meet. Um, thank you for all your words. I'm going to treasure these forever and your music which I'll be playing a lot a lot a lot from now on and thank you for everything and if my black flame could only shine 10% as bright as yours does every day then I know uh, I would have made it so thank you hail Les hail heaven Reverend Hernandez hail Satan so thank you sir Hi, Les. This is Julia and Louis Parada. Hi, Reverend, uh, and thank you. I just want you to know uh, we've all been inspired by your writing and by your positive attitude. And uh, I also want you to know we're going to be sharing your music with our children for many years to come. So in this house, you'll always be alive. And uh, I also wanted to say thank you for, um, for the gifts, for the gift of your music, for the gift of your writing, for the gift of the inspiration that you continue to provide for so many in our community and beyond. And as long as anyone listens to the quintessentials and as long as anyone reads the Bloodfire Compendium and as long as anyone remembers, reminisces, misses all that you've done and all that you are, you will live forever. This tribute is our gift to you. Hail Satan, hail Reverend Bloodfire. Hi, Les. I just wanted to take a few minutes to say thank you. Thank you for your music, your writing, and your hilarious personality, and overall, your kindness. When I first heard your music, it was with the quintessentials, and I was absolutely blown away. The power and energy and sheer guts in that music was just amazing. Once I got to know you a little bit on social media, I was further amazed by your your kindness and you're always willing to make time, even for people you'd never met in person. Uh, as I 
heard about this diagnosis and saw with what elegance, grace, but overall balls that you fought cancer with, it, it truly inspired me, not only as a Satanist, but just as a person. You tr have a true passion for life, and you have been so giving of all your talents and just of who you are. And for that, I say thank you. Hail Satan. Hail Les. Hey Les, G. Edwin Taylor. I didn't know how I was going to do this at first, <clears throat> but you know, I'm glad you're hanging in there, and I um, yeah, I'm really at a loss for words right now. <laughs> I, uh, no, we probably should have met at the June 6th event, and I was unable to go at the last minute, and it's something I've always regretted, you know, not being able to go to, you know, but, um, you know, I'm glad that you're hanging in there, I'm glad that you're fighting, because, you know, you're an inspiration, everybody you know myself and you know everyone else who's even gotten a chance to know you and I'm just glad that I got a chance to know you so far you know and I'm looking forward to even getting to know you better you know as time goes on you know, and I'm really I'm really glad that you're fighting you know and that you haven't given up that, you know, that will to survive, the will to keep going, to kick it in its ass. Because, you know, it's, you know, life is a great indulgence. And you indulge so well. You know, I, I'm just really glad that I had the chance to finally you know, that I got to know you over all these years. And, um, though I'm not really, um, one thing I can never figure out, though, is, uh, your love for Archie. Can't figure that out. I've tried. I've really, really tried. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, man, glad I've been able to know you so far. I'm looking forward to more. Thanks for being you, man. Cheers. Hey, Les. Uh, this is definitely a video I never expected that I'd be making. But uh, since this is supposed to be kind of a cheerful and uh, slightly less morbid affair. Uh, to begin at the beginning, it's been my pleasure to know you all these years and to not only consider you a friend, but family. Uh, I remember back when I added you back on MySpace and you added me to the Church of Satan group on there, you know, back when MySpace was actually a social network. Christ, I just aged myself there, didn't I? And I know that you were one of the first ones to welcome me when I joined Archibald. But aside from all that, I first became aware of you via your band, The Quintessentials, when Pentagonal Revisionism was the most recent album. And I remember that I got... Pentagonal Revisionism and the original press of The Horror Never Ends from Hawaiian Express, as well as a split between um, Crawling Chaos and the catalogs, which I still have somewhere. Um, but we, beyond, we bonded beyond this thing of ours. And... I 
count you in as an inspiration, uh, you know, beyond the usual stuff. I mean, you've always just been badass. Um, you, you don't take shit, and I won't tell anybody, but you're actually a sensitive son of a bitch, and I'm very proud to call you not only a friend, but family, and... <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together here, but it's difficult, you know, knowing what's to come. But again, you exemplify what Satanism should be. And that's why you're kind of an idol of mine, even though I can't carry a tune to save my life. I remember back when I was still kind of angsty and angry, I sent you a poem of mine uh, via a MySpace message. And you said, it sounds great and just polish it up and it could be a mighty hammer. And I remember I wrote that poem, which, although it was cringy, um, I had just finished reading the Blood Fire Compendium, and I was inspired, so I wrote, Let it never be said that you haven't inspired people. You've inspired me. You're not the wind beneath my wheels. Sorry. That just happens when uh, I have too much in the way of beans. But uh, as you can see, I may not have a whoopee cushion, but I'm wearing the keep staring. I might do a trick t-shirt just for the purpose of this video because I know you'll appreciate it with your sense of humor. All of that being said, I love you less. I'm proud of you for just not giving a shit and still raging against the dying of the light. And I have this strange feeling that you'll be here for many years to come. And even if you're not, you have definitely ensured your immortality among all of us. And with all of that said, I'd like to close by saying, Hail Les! Hail Bloodfire! Hail Satan! Hi, Les. Wish I could be talking to you under better circumstances. Um... <clears throat> I don't have, as of yet, anything really featuring your Bloodfire sigil, but I am sporting some blood red earrings and this handsome medallion that Steve Seedry <coughs> made for your benefit. And I'm decorating the background of this video, I'm not sure you can even see it, with this lovely new record of yours. I am not sure that you even remember me all that well. We met only once in person at the Church of Satan's 50th anniversary, New York. We, uh, it was a greeting, you gave me a guitar pick, and I keep saying that you shook my hand, because I want that to have been the way that meeting went, but I'm not even sure that I completely remember that. And frankly, I was kind of awestruck because I just, I knew of you by reputation, and I am, um, 
I'm still so... What's the opposite of jaded? <laughs> Whatever the opposite is of that. Um, I'm still so starry-eyed that I keep... I continue to have that, those kinds of reactions to people like you. And when I say people like you, I mean... I don't mean people in the priesthood or things, things like that, although that's also accurate, but you are... You are a magnetic personality. You have a lot of charisma. That is evident from the way that you comport yourself online, the way you're interacting with others. But what I... Right, um was in your presence, it was... It was a combination of the, the... the starstruck quality that I mentioned just a couple of seconds ago, and being very relaxed. You... I don't even know if you wanted to put me at ease, but you put me at ease, and... I am... I guess I, I, I regret that I never really followed that up, but I was also, um... You met me during a time when I was doing a lot of... <coughs> isolating. I was... swallowed up in thoughts my brain was using to lie to me about self-worth and my worth in the eyes of others. And it told me recently that I have begun reaching out again to make sure the people I wanted in my life so badly are still in my life. And that's been a 100% success rate so far, so because I must be doing something right, right? I never really got to know you all that well, at least as well as I think I could have gotten to know you. And that tears me up a little bit inside, but, um, but since we never got to do the kind of interview that I was wanting to do, I am glad that someone decided to make what we're doing here a thing, so I can at least offer <clears throat> some words. You know that uh, I have heard somewhere that you can never read in a lifetime all of the great books in history, but uh, of course you can sure as hell try. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Is I'm never going to be able to get to say to you all the things that I really, th I, that I really think I would want to have said, but um, I can give you this. And um, I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, because I saw it in yours. I, I saw. I saw a lot of pride, and a lot of joy, and a lot of ambition in your eyes. And, um, despite <laughs> all of the... despite everything I just said, I don't know if you can see it in my eyes, but I have a lot of that too. And... One thing I'm going to make damn sure to do in, uh, uh going forward is carrying these um, fragile but vivid memories alive as much as I can, as much as 
others who are closer to you probably do do. I want to help get you as close to that realm of immortality that I can. I have I have writing visions, I have musical visions. I'm not sure how much of it I'll be able to get uh, out there, but I'm going to do my damnedest to make sure that you are... I want to include your name somehow in part of these things. Parts of these things. Um, I am privileged, I am happy to have had you as part of my online presence, as a presence with me online, Facebook, otherwise. You have, um, you have enriched us all. That, I feel, should go up without saying, but it demands being said. I feel like I've run out of things that, I, that are essential to say, and now I'm, uh, think, I, I want to say things that I want to say, rather than need to say. Even though there is so much I'll never get to do, I'll still be thinking of you a lot. You have, in your time here, made quite the impression, and it's going to last. I'll be, um, it will be a privilege to help everyone else, um, celebrate your life and make sure your legacy goes on. All of my best, Les. Alright, I guess that's all then. As much as anyone who has known you as well as I can say it, I'll say that. Love you, brother. Hail Satan. Hello. Um, I write notes. I'm terrible at ad living. Uh, I hope you're doing as well as you can. I know firsthand how shitty this kind of thing is. Um, well, first off, I guess I'll start with... Um, we, we first met when you wanted me to do your plaque. And at the time I'm like, oh yeah, sure, I can do that. I, I didn't know that I'd be able to do it, but because it was so important to you, you know, it was really important to me, and so... Um, I, I credit you and uh, with, you know, getting the word out about my little business, so thank you for that, much appreciated. Um, and then, you know, through that we added each other on Facebook and we got to know each other a little better. Um, I'd like to think that I provided a little bit of amusement for you here and there. I'd, it's hard to take myself seriously. Uh, but um, what, what I really like about you is your, your style and your talent and your passion. I mean, you don't, you don't have a single pretentious bone in your body, so, you know, you're all the real deal, and that's special. Um, you're a talented musician, and I know when I listen to the quintessentials in the workshop working, I'm doing stuff a lot faster, so, you know, good music makes everything better. Um, and, you know, your, your passion, like, you're, you're an excellent, um, 
example of what it means to live like uh, vital existence and all of that because you don't sit there flapping your gums about what you're gonna do you, you just get up and do it and boy howdy do you do it well um, so you know I just wanted to say thank you for all the cool stuff you've done and I'm, I'm still enjoying your book um, and yeah it's um, your the legacy that you've created for yourself will go on for decades to come and you know you've you've stamped your hoof mark on this world and nothing can change that so thank you for everything hail blood fire hi Wes it's me um, I've been given the opportunity to say a few words and uh, well I couldn't pass that up uh, first off I want to say thank you uh, I want to thank you for being uh, an exemplary human being uh, I want to thank you for uh, being an uh, an exemplary artist. I want to thank you for representing this organization that we love so much and showing the world the true nature of what we're about and for making us look good. Uh, when I joined uh, a few short years ago, um, I was very proud to be uh, among the ranks of some, some very impressive people. And you are definitely a prime example of that. And it's, it truly is an honor. Um, I know that we've only met each other the once, uh, but I can honestly say that I admire you greatly, and you're one of my personal heroes, which sounds weird, but the, the reason I say that is because uh, you've given me a star to shoot for. Uh, over the past few years, when I, I look at your projects and I look at your creative accomplishments, I've honestly looked and I said, that guy, he's he's doing it right. I. I want to be that guy. He's got looks, he's got charisma, he's got talent, you know. Um, I want to be that guy. And, you know, you've, you've got all these creative projects. I've got projects galore coming down the pipe, but they stay there. Um, and I don't know when they're coming out. Uh, but you most certainly did not hold back, did you? You, you gave us hell and then some. And uh, I think we're all thankful that I think we're all thankful for that. And honestly, if if I could be half the person that you are, I I could just sit back at the end of the day and and say I'm the shit. You know. Uh, I know that when we leave this world, we can't take anything with us, but we can definitely leave our mark, um, and you've definitely done that. You left a big gash in the world that's not going anywhere. And not only that, you've etched your way into our hearts, and I hope you can feel that through the love and the support that we've all thrown your way. Um, you're with us, and you're not going anywhere. Just know that. Life everlasting, world without end, that's you. Uh, hail Reverend Bloodfire and Hail Satan. Love you, buddy. Cheers. Hey, Les, Alec here. Um, just wanted to do this quick video, keep it short and simple, um, and let you know, thinking about you, uh, rooting for you, even though, you know, you think things may be bleak, never know, maybe, uh, something will happen and, and you'll get better. Obviously, I'm not good at um, doing this and saying goodbye, but um, I don't look at it as goodbye. It's just a till later. And, um, you know, when people talk about the black flame and um, life is the great indulgence, um, you've, you've pretty much personified that. Um, the way you've faced um, your mortality has been an inspiration, uh, and I think I speak for all of us. Um, if I could only uh, approach the little things in my life the way you have approached 
um, you know, being diagnosed with, with cancer, um, that, that would make me such a better person. And even though we didn't get to hang out as much, um, we go back all the way to what MySpace, Letters to the Devil Forum, um, all right through Facebook and now. And uh, the one thing that uh, I'll always cherish is when we um, got to finally meet face to face um, at the 50th uh, party and share a drink and just share good times. So I wish you all the best, man. I'm rooting for you. And I hope um, everything goes well and you find peace. Uh, remember, life eternal, man. Love you, brother. And that's platonic, okay? I can say I love you and not be anything other than strict love. Love you, man. Bye. every good and bad decision I've made in my life up to this point, I need a plank. Reverend Hernandez. Less. I'm not one for regret in my life. I, I don't think any Satanist is. How, however, I've got a couple that I need to get off my chest first regret that I have is that back in 2008 or so, I walked past the Red Room in Portland and I saw a band on the marquee. Quintessentials. What the hell's that? So I looked into it and realized that I needed Hawaiian horror punk in my life a lot more than I thought I did. And then I put two and two together and got six and realized, oh, 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 him. I have read that book more times than I can count. Uh, my first copy had to be replaced uh, because the spine was destroyed and, and the pages were dog-eared. It is probably one of the most clear-cut explanations of Satanism I have uh, ever seen. So much so that I gave away my first book. Um, the next regret I have is your plans originally before you went public with your prognosis were to visit the Pacific Northwest where, where I am. And I, I regret that that did not happen. I understand why, but I regret that that did not happen. Uh, the third one is that I only really know you through your art. I know you through your music, through your words, and only a smattering through social media. But from everything that I've seen, there's not much difference between the public persona and you, so. I have never seen someone handle their own mortality in such a classy way. It's, it's admirable. There's no other way for me to put that. I, we're essentially seeing you live stream your funereal preparations. And I deeply regret that I don't think I have that kind of power in me. If somebody asks me what the definition of vital existence is, I'm just going to refer them to a copy of your book, to the iTunes store for the quintessentials, to your Facebook page, and I don't think I can give a much more succinct description than that. But you still owe me a visit, so you better stick to it, because... Whether you drink or not, 
We need to. So with, with that in mind, in no particular order, hail less, hail Satan, and fuck cancer. Hey, Les. First, I want to say I really regret that you and I didn't get a chance to meet at Conclave and talk a little bit. I would have liked that. I've certainly enjoyed our conversations online. But if I had to leave you with one thought, it's this. You and I both belong to the same big mutual admiration society. But because of your courage, your strength, and your willingness to let us all take a part in what you're going through, because of that, you're one of the people I admire the most. Hail Bloodfire. Les. Les Hernandez. Joe Hidden here. I just want this opportunity to say that uh, you have been <clears throat> an amazing amazing inspiration to me. Your posts have made me laugh. They've made me cry. They made me laugh more often. I just want you to know that I appreciate you. And I consider you I consider you the epitome of what a Satanist is. Ever forward, always inspiring. You've inspired a lot of people, and we all love you for it. Hail us, Satan, and it is. Hail Satan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey Les, Lorcan Black here. Uh, I just wanted to say that I really wish that I could have known you. Um, we've had interactions on, you know, social media, but it's not the same, um, you know, as actually being face to face and knowing somebody. And uh, you, just through the the little interaction that we've had and everything, you you really seem like an amazing human being that I would have loved to have called a, a personal friend. Um, the way you've handled everything is an incredible inspiration and uh, I, I know, I can't imagine how tough everything is but you're handling handling it like an absolute champion and uh, that's how I'm always going to remember you man as, as, as a, just an incredible human being, a, a ruler of the world. So, um, I'm not going to take up too much time, um, but, uh, you know, I have an incredible amount of respect for you as a, you know, a musician and an author and, uh, just a human, a great human being. So I, I really hope that the rest of your time here is, uh, is not that is not that bad. I hope uh, everything goes smoothly and uh, as smoothly as they can. Uh, and my friend, in the end, I uh, I really hope the darkness brings you comfort. Hail Satan. Aloha to Hawaii. This is Patrick. Not the sidekick of SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, well, actually, it's just me, you know, deal with it. Anyway, I'm glad that I can take this opportunity to express a few of my thoughts right now. Um, well, I'm aware you're going through a very hard time at the moment, but I think you deserve to be reminded of the following. You, sir, have always been an inspiration to me, a very, very loyal friend, and, um, 
well, what can I say? You've supported me throughout the years and I'm forever grateful that you have been part of my life. Well, I think we both had a lot of fun on the internet. But please, let's not forget the one thing I'll never forgive you. Pineapple on pizza! How dare you! <laughs> Well, uh, on a serious note, no matter what happens next, you, sir, left a legacy. You left your footprints on this planet. You lived your life to its fullest and always inspired me. And I think you've inspired also very, very many other people in our cabal. And, well, you will never be forgotten. This is to you. Hail, Reverend Bloodfire. Hail Satan, and lest we forget, fuck cancer. Love you, man. Magister Johnson here. I'm honored and privileged to celebrate Les Hernandez this evening. When I first conceived of my book, The Satanic Warlock, I personally looked at many members of the church, many men whom I felt were above the cut. Les was one of those few. His work with Quintessentials and many other projects is outstanding to say the least. He's a fine fellow and I'm honored to be his friend. Hail Les, you'll live in our minds and hearts forever. Hey Les. I just want to say a couple of things, man, while I get the chance to and you get to hear it. Ever since we got the news that this was happening to you, um, a lot of us really started to think about our own vital existence, you know, and how important it is to pursue the things we want to pursue and just go ever forward, you know. Really, it's an eye-opener, man. This sucks. This really sucks, but uh, I'm thinking about some cool things that... Uh, you get to experience before you go, you know? I mean, you're overseeing your own coffin, the headstone, you know, you're seeing these things that people don't get to see and you're taking care of things that a lot of people don't get to take care of. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, as you know, we live on in the brains and sinews of those whose respect we've gained and you have gained a lot of respect from people, man. A lot. So... You will be missed. You will be thought of. Your writings, your music, they're going to last forever, man. People will know who you are. And remember who you are. You started the Fuck Cancer campaign. And uh, you got to know it, man. Cancer will be fucked one day. Won't be forgotten, Les. Hail Satan. <laughs> it's hilarious. Reverend Les, how are you? All right, matey. Just got a few words for you, because um, oh, I do talk a lot. But, you know... You are an inspiration to us all. You really are, mate. You, you, you're so fucking brave. And I fucking love you. You are, in fact, the quintessential... I see what I did there, eh? The quintessential satanic warlock. Yes, you are. And I fucking love you, mate. Now, I've been out for a couple of beers earlier on today, and I, I am not pished. I am not. Am I, Bella? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Um, out of date. Hang on, Les. Here's one I made earlier. That's better. Where's your uncle, Les? Love you, bro. Hell you. <laughs> <laughs>